as an organization, we thought, well, what can we do? You know, and so um, the board, we decided, you know, we came up with some really quick activities that we could support, whether it was um, helping fund um, little free, or free little libraries, you know, the little libraries that you see throughout the neighborhoods, um, if it was providing books for those little libraries, um, if it was um, giving additional dollars towards um, coaching um, for reading and, and such or other programs. So that might be one um, example as to what, you know, something that really came up that we felt that we, if we could play a role in helping address it, it was something that we wanted to do. What do you envision for the future of the foundation? Obviously you say, you know, there's so much more still mm -hmm. to do. What do you envision for the future? Goodness. Um, well, I'd like to say that the Community Foundation is going to be that much bigger, um, not only from a financial standpoint, but overall capacity. So we are positioned to address what is yet in the future, right? I mean, whether it is that we need to be able to provide more grants in the community, whether it is that we need, need, to, need to be able to provide more leadership in the community, um, and it's growing the partnerships, and we have some amazing partnerships. I mean, we are truly blessed here in Saginaw County to have some other amazing leaders throughout the county, um, and we want to make sure that people understand that we are a partner, or we want to partner with them. Because once again, it truly takes a village. I mean, that's been our motto for the last um, seven years, and we've really built off on that, that as an organization, as your community foundation, it's gonna take all of us, and we wanna know that we're, we want people to know that we're here to partner with them. So we wanna be that stronger, um, effective partner in the community. Why is it important to have foundations like this one to you know, pretty much get to that community and help them in the way that you do? One of the things that the Saginaw Community Foundation um, wants everyone to know in our community, and even in the Great Lakes Bay region, we are an organization that I hope people see that we can provide hope, you know, if the, if, or let me just say restore hope, if that hope has truly been lost. I mean, that is something that I hear that really breaks my heart, because once again, this is my hometown, and I, and I have a lot of joy. I, I still have a lot of joy um, that I remember from when I was a kid and growing up here. I, I'm raising my family here, and I feel that my children feel joy, and they love being home. Um, they are proud of their hometown, and I want to make sure that that is, a re that, that is something that we can continue to restore for those that feel that they've lost that hope and joy. Okay, and how can people reach out to the foundation to access some of those opportunities? Yeah, so people can contact the Saginaw Community Foundation via phone, 989-755-0545. Um, um, they can reach us um, via email, um, uh, or they can go to our website where they can find all of our contact information, which is www.saginawfoundation.org. Um, but we have a, I'm very proud of our small but mighty team. Um, even though each one of my team members has a specific area that they're responsible for, but all of us are here um, to answer or direct you to the right person to answer any and all questions. Okay, well, thank you so much, Renee. You guys are all doing great work here. So definitely if folks need that help and those opportunities, you know where to find them. So thank you so much. Thank Renee. you. Okay, thank you. What time is it? Did we make good time for you? Uh-oh. Is that good? Yes. Oh, perfect timing.